I'm Christine Moody. I'm a molecular ecologist here at Oak Ridge National Lab in the Biodiversity and Ecosystem Health Group. I focus on using non-invasive molecular tools to understand the impacts that we are have, having on our environment, specifically how hydropower affects our fish communities and other aquatic species and their ecology. So eDNA is environmental DNA that organisms put off into the environment. It's through ordinary processes. Right now, you and I are producing eDNA into the air, and we can go out into the environment and collect this eDNA using different sampling methods. So we can sample water, soil, air, even honey, to look at what organisms are living around those areas and how many individuals of those organisms there are. We then bring those samples back to the lab and we process them in a way in which we can make more of that DNA. So we amplify it so that we then can use sequencing technology to look at what those samples are telling us. So our work combines laboratory work, molecular bench work, and field work. And so the lab that I'm in right now is our big fish laboratory. And in here we do mesocosm experiments, tank experiments, where we can put different fish, different number of individuals, and pull out water samples from them and do very controlled experiments where we can tell you things about quantity of DNA, about the breakdown of DNA, how different parameters would be affecting our detection possibilities. Environmental DNA, eDNA, is a non-invasive tool to understand aquatic biodiversity in hydropower impacted systems. And what I mean by a non-invasive tool, it doesn't require people to go out and actually collect an organism like many of the contemporary methods we use, like electrofishing, gill netting, seining, snorkeling, etc. eDNA also provides us with cost and time savings over these contemporary methods we use. eDNA is not a replacement for our contemporary methods, but rather it's a, a, another tool in our toolbox to be able to broaden the perspective of what we're studying and understanding um, what we're studying. We use eDNA in the hydropower space because it allows us to ask questions that regulatory agencies require, such as biodiversity assessments to understand if a new uh, hydropower plant is being proposed, how might that hydropower plant impact the species that are there? And so using eDNA, you can determine the biodiversity that's there that might be impacted or hydropower plants that are under uh, licensing procedures. And so this is our sampling tool that we use both out in the field and in our laboratory mesocosm experiments that allow us to sample the water um, using this tripod arena here. And we just stick it into the water and pump it up. It's a one-way pump, so there's no contamination. And it collects our DNA for us in these self-preserving filters. And then we can pop them off and put them back into a bag and bring them back into the lab and process them. And this will tell us everything that is living in this tank or out in a field site where we sample.